So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be working on a coin matching game. So the objective of the game is to match the amount of coins it takes to match the target number. So 85 right here, you're supposed to like select the amount of each coin you use to match the target number. If um, you have to do it in the least amount of steps, but if, if you do it in the, in the least amount of steps, then you get um, a point, but if you don't, then it'll say sorry. Um, that is correct, but that is not the least amount of steps. And right here, it says match the value below with the least amount of coins. So you have to use the least amount of coins. So in this tutorial, I'll be learning um, these following concepts. Variables, broadcasting messages, the custom block, operators, and pick random. So before we begin our tutorial, 86% um, of you guys are not subscribed and only 12% of you guys are subscribed. So please subscribe to make these numbers higher because only 12% of you guys are subscribed and 86% are not. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So I'm gonna demo the game. So let's try it out. So in the beginning, I'll just say the instructions, click the space bar to begin. And then um, 17 right here. So you use one ten cent, one five cent, and two one cents. So when you check it, it'll say that is correct. Let's say you don't do it in the least amount of steps, and you click the new to get a new number. So, okay, so new seventy two. Let's say I don't do it in the least amount of steps. Let's do like this. See this? That is correct, but that is not the least amount of coins. So that is not the least amount of coins. So that means you have to do this. Three of these and two of these. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, two of these. And then you have to use um, two of these. And then two of these. So let's say you get it correct. So let's get a new number. 29. Let's say you just do this. And just say that is incorrect. Try again. So yeah, that's pretty much the game. And you have to match the target number. So yeah. Let's start a new project. All right, so I started a new project. So first, let's rename our new project to Coin Matching Coin Matching Game. So I'm gonna delete the Scratch Cat because I don't need it, and I'm gonna drag in some other stuff. So let's go to the backdrop. Okay, so now let's go to our backdrop um, right here. So I'm gonna go to my backpack. I will not be needing this, but first we'll get the instructions page. Let me delete this one. And then we'll be needing this backdrop. This is like the um, match the value, this backdrop with all the cents and stuff like that. So that's the backdrop I'll be having. And then for the sprites, I'm going to upload the check sprite, the new sprite, um, these sprites. Um, I will need to upload multiple of these. Um, but I'll rename them so it'll be easier for for you guys to uh, read it. So I need four uh, four sets of them. So down since this is a one cent, I'm gonna like um, put this as down. I'm gonna name this down one and up one, and then this can be named down five because it's five cents, and then we have up five, and then we have down ten up 10 and down 25 up 25 so as you can see all of them are stacked on top of each other so what I'm gonna do here is gonna hide all of these um, except for one set of them so then I can um, put them where I want it to be so let's hide all of this so I have the 25 one so I'm gonna put that right here down here Put it also like right here, like that. Move this in a little bit more, like that. Okay. So I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna show this one and show this one. So the ten cent ones, I'm gonna put it like right here, and then put this one about like right here, like that. Okay. And then we're gonna show the five and the other five. Right here, 
and right here. And then finally the one cent ones. Put that right here and put the other one right here. All right. So now we have all of the arrows. Um, it might not be very good. So yeah, now we have all the arrows. Um, okay, so I um, put these two together. So now you know that is one cent, five cent, 10 cent, and 25 cents. Group them together. So we will be putting these in our Google Drive so you can download them from the Google Drive. And so this is how I drew the backdrop, by the way. So I just drew a circle and one cent. But if you want to put the actual send sign, you have to do this. So on Windows, it's like Alt 0162, and you get a send sign. So if you're on Windows, just do Alt 0162, you get the send sign. But if you're not on Windows, you can just write send, something like that. And then I just wrote match the value below with the least amount of coins. So I'll put the variable, the target number right here. And then I'll put the amount of one cents, amount of five cents, amount of 10 cents, and amount of 25 cents used in these boxes. And these are just like blue rectangles I just drew. So, and then this, I just drew a green backdrop, wrote the instructions, and pressed the spacebar to begin. So that's what I did. All right. And let me delete this, because I'm not going to be using that. OK. Oops. OK, so now let's continue. Um, I also got a retro robot in the Scratch library. You can just get it from here. Retro robot, this thing. And I just changed the costume, this one. And I just made it like 50% size. Because it's too big. Actually, no, it's maybe 75%. Okay, so now it's a little bit better. So I'm going to make it turn to the left. Do that. Select the don't rotate and then negative 90. So now it's going to rotate to the left. All right. Now let's work on the backdrop code. So the backdrop code, I just made a music. So let's get a one green flag clicked. Set the volume to 50% so it isn't too loud, uh, 50%, zoom in a little bit, okay, so I get a forever loop, and I just pick the xylophone music, um, you guys can pick any sound you want, I just got one from the sprite library, I mean sound library, um, xylo, xylo one, I took this one, this one, go to sounds, and get a play sound until done. And put it in the forever loop. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the retro robot. Okay, for the retro robot, I'm gonna start with the um, making a bunch of variables. So we're gonna make um, selected one, one selected one. So there's like the amount of selected for the one cent variable, one cent um. And then we're going to make selected five. Five. And then I made selected all the way up to 25. So select selected 10. I'm not going to put a space. And then selected 25. Selected 25. I can hide these variables. For now, we'll show them later. And then we also made a um, a bunch more. So this is calculated. We'll need these in the future to find the fastest way to um, uh, do this, fastest way to get the coins. And we need calculated five, calculated five. And then we're gonna do calculated 10. All the way up to 25 and then calculated 25 and then we're also going to make another variable called target so that's the target number you want to get and then we'll make one more called remainder that's to find the remainder target and remainder uh, remainder remainder so those are all my variables pretty sure Okay, let's work on the 
Retro robot first, so let's get a one green flag clicked. Zoom in a little bit. Let's go hide. I'm gonna hide him in the beginning. And then, because you know why? Because we have this backdrop, and I don't want him to show right there. So we want to hide the robot in the beginning. So hide. And then we want to hide the variable selected one. So these are the amount of select. Um, the amount each one is selected. So I'm going to hide all of them. Hide selected 5, hide selected 10, and 25. 10 and 25. So I'm also going to hide the variable target. We'll need that later. Target uh, right here. So next, we're going to get a one green flag clicked again. And we're going to switch the backdrop to backdrop 1. Oops, backdrop to backdrop one, which is, uh, I mean, two. I'm pretty sure backdrop two is my, um, this one. I'm going to name it to backdrop one and this one to backdrop two, so I won't get that confused. So backdrop one is my, um, uh, the instructions page. So I'm going to go to backdrop one. And then I'm going to go to control, wait until key space is being pressed. So I'm going to wait until the space bar is being pressed. And then, when the spacebar is pressed, then we're going to switch backdrop to backdrop 2, which is the other backdrop. And then, we're going to go to events. When backdrop switches to backdrop 2, then we want to show the robot. Show the robot. And um, let's show all of these variables right here. Show calcul uh, selected. Oh, yeah, these should be uh, selected, not calculated. Sorry about that. Selected 5, selected 10, and selected 25. Not calculated. They should be all selected. So we're going to show the selected variables right here. So show selected 1, selected 5, and selected 10 and 25. 10 and 25. All right, so now we have all of the variables set. Let's go on to the um, new. Let's go to the new sprite. And before I uh, continue on to the new sprite, I want to show you how to position all of them, so I'm going to show all of the selected variables and the target. So what you want to do is double click and it'll become like this, and you can just put it right here. So that's not going to be a target one. Selected one, I'm just going to put it right here, like right here. So double click, so then it'll become smaller, and if you double click again, it'll become a slider like this, but we will not need that, so we're just going to use this one. Uh, Put that in here and this one. So that's how it would look if you're wondering how. And now let's get onto the new sprite. So in the new, we're going to get a one flag clicked. We want to hide it in the beginning. Hide. We want to hide it. And then when the backdrop switches the backdrop to, which is the um, other one, the this backdrop, then we want to show it. And then when green flag is being clicked, we're going to get set the target to pick random 1 to 100. So the target number will be a random number from 1 to 100. So we're going to make it 1 to 100. And we're going to set the selected to 1, 0, sorry. Set selected to 0. We're going to set all the selected to 0, sorry. So then um, in the beginning, no coins should be selected. Select 5 should be 0, and then selected 10 and 25 should also be 0, okay? And then when this sprite is being clicked, the new button is being clicked. When sprite is clicked, then we want to set the selected all of them to 0, because you're making a new, a new number, and then we're going to also set the target. I'm going to duplicate this. And put that down here. So, what the new thing is when you click it, it'll give you a new number. So, when the sprite is clicked, it'll set everything back to zero and set the target to pick random 100. So, that's for the new sprite. And finally, let's do the check sprite. So, for the check sprite, we're gonna get uh, one flag clicked. We wanna hide. Hide. And then, after hiding, when the backdrop switches to backdrop 2, which is the 
coin backdrop, this one, then we want to show. And then when this sprite is clicked, then we want to broadcast a message called check answer, which we'll reuse later. Check, check answer. All right, I think we're going to stop here. So that's what we did today, the check, new, and the setup. So um, we'll continue on the next part uh, tomorrow. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you guys in the next video.